is Stacy Van Gundy with Stacy Designs, helping you to love your home by teaching you how to create fine finishes. I've got this buffet behind me that I have all of the drawers and the doors out. And these are the doors, as you can see, these are the doors on each side. And we're gonna add that raised wood look. And there's a couple ways to skin this cat. You can either, you can do molds and you can get the IOD molds, which I love. They're very nice um, and fun to use. And you could make all of the molds and I could make all the molds and I could lay the whole thing out all the detail and then I could paint it and glaze it so it looked like hand carved wood but I will tell you there is an easier way so we are going to take this stencil and we're going to stencil over this because I tell you by the time we get this stencil on here you, with this little raised to beveled edge, you are not gonna be able to tell that it is not actually carved or that I didn't make molds. And I'm gonna tape because I really want, I'm, I wanna leave this. So I don't want to worry about what I call junk in the trunk. It's just junk in the trunk the stuff that when you go to put the stuff in the trunk that you want, you got a mess. You got to clean up your mess. So we're going to put this on the side so we don't have no junk in the trunk. And then we can pull it because otherwise I'm going to end up getting junk all around that edge. And then I'm going to have to clean it off mess with it and why why mess with it no reason no real reason to mess with it and we just turn my tape there you go if, if you weren't aware tape can totally be put on a round surface. Well, we're just, this is just totally, because I'm only doing this pattern in this middle. I'm not doing it through the whole thing. I have it's disappeared and I'm just lining it up this is where I filled the two holes so I think I'm gonna put different hardware on it because that Drexel hardware and I can line it up literally with those holes because they're even so I know that that is the center because that was in the center so that is the center. That is the center. Okay. And everybody's got, you know, a little bit different way of doing stenciling. We're gonna take this product. And this is, I like to use, if I don't have a cake spreader, I like to use, um, these are from the body parts store over there. They're automotive. They're literally what the car guys use to put on their Bondo. And they work super duper amazing. And I'm gonna go around.
doesn't matter if it's just a little thick around that edge because I can uh, <clears throat> I can sand it off smooth. This is just like a little plaster. which is why a cake thing tends to work. Now we're going to pull it off and there you go and I know I couldn't but I did the edges just a little thicker we'll go like this and patch it in I'm just gonna go like this I think actually I kind of like that there we go And I may end up doing the center again.
I don't really need it on there to do that center. See? We'll do the center again. And it doesn't even matter that it's poking up. This stuff, that's that's kind of the beauty of it, is its ability to like work and not look that great till it's done. So then the, what'll happen is we'll do another coat and we'll have this raised. We'll do another coat so it's more raised and almost as high as this by the time we get done. So gonna look really awesome and it's still way faster than making a mold way 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 faster way faster than making a mold it'll have there you go see how neat that'll look keep being happy and stay well and thank you for joining me